decided to increase the rent by a hundred dollars a week for my tenant who is a single mom with two kids on the basis that a reasonable rental increase would have been an extra hundred and forty dollars per week and I recognized that she probably couldn't afford that so I came to the conclusion that a hundred would be a very good deal considering the suburb and it would be one of the cheaper rentals on the market and the property manager let my tenant know and the tenant got back to my property manager and said if I pass on that increase she won't be able to feed her kids and she'll be in severe financial difficulty so now I'm in a position where do I subsidize the tenant's rent and cop it out of my own pocket as a result of a housing crisis orchestrated by the current and previous government or do I tell this tenant she can't afford this particular suburb and she should look for somewhere more reasonable. It's a really tough decision and one that I am not taking on lightly and just further evidence that this housing crisis is really impacting people financially. Hey folks, welcome to my YouTube channel. What you saw here was a um, landlord who defends um, a ten, I mean a hundred dollar um, Christmas rent increase. That's right. I mean, so a Perth um, landlord has defended her actions after she received, she revealed um, she would increase a um, single mum's um, rent by a hundred dollars a week in a video that has now gone viral. In a video posted to social media on Sunday, the Perth landlord explained she decided to increase the rent on one of her four rental properties, which is leased to a single mum with two children. I decided to increase the rent by $100 a week for my tenant, who is a single mum with two kids, on the basis of a reasonable one rental increase that would have been an extra $140 a week, she said in a video. Uh, yeah, so she, I recognize that she couldn't afford that, so I come to the conclusion that $100 will be a very good deal considering the suburb and it would be one of the um, cheaper rentals on the market. So yeah, however, when she informed the property manager of her plans to increase the rent, she was told uh, the mother wouldn't be able to feed her kids and she would be in severe financial difficulties if she passes the increase on to the tenant. So this is going to recite on what she said in the video. So the, the post was quickly received backlash on social media with some accusing the landlord of being greedy. Jesus, I cannot imagine increasing a rent by $100 a week. And that would ruin anyone, let alone a single mum. What are you thinking of? Some have some ethics, um, one person said. Um, absolutely, girl, to say you're subsidizing the tenant's rent when the core issue is you cannot afford your investment without someone else's income, another said. How could you? Another person commented. However, others defended her decision, arguing she is not to blame for the ongoing housing crisis grappling the country. You are not running a charity. At the end of the day, one person commented, landlords should not be forced to suck up rate rises, another, said another. It's the government's fault. They're trying to um, unload um, responsibility um, to landlords who are not filthy rich, as widely believed, paying out of your own pocket maybe be a short-term fix and provide moral emotional satisfaction but it will cause the problem to worsen over time another person wrote speaking to news.com.au the landlord defended her initial decision to raise the rent saying she didn't increase the rent much last year i don't think that i'm being greedy because being overly compassionate has put me in this situation in the first place, she said. I didn't think it increased the rent much last year. To be kind, 
I'm now in a position where it looks like it's a hefty increase. Rents are going up. My cost um, insurance land tax is going up. How much longer do I should subsidize someone else? Um, I mean, I do take into account each of, of my tenant's circumstances and assess it by circumstances, their circumstances, or do I just be fair across the board? And that's where the emotion and the business size comes into it. She added she hasn't confirmed the property manager if the um, rent increase will officially go ahead after the lease expires in January. She is saying she um, still struggling with the decision. I want to help people, but how far can I go out of my own pocket to help people without making myself having to work more? How much should I keep subsidizing when I have a family of my own? She said she originally shared a video to spark a conversation about tenants and landlords during the housing crisis and want to see the government to do more to provide a solution. It becomes landlords versus tenants. I think there needs to be a solution to work together to make sure landlords are being fair and tenants are looked after to fix the housing crisis. The government kind does doesn't want to take the blame. It says the um, landlord's problem, but I don't see how it's kind of my problem that my costs have gone up because the decision that are outside of my control. It comes up to damning data from National Shelter and SGS Economics and Planning show property and ordinary um, has plummeted across Australia and in the last 12 months. Every capital city except Canberra and Hobart is less affordable than it was a year ago and renters are worse off than they were in 2019. In more unwelcome news for renters, PropTrack property market outlook for December 2023 predicted rents will continue to rise um, off the back of low vacancy levels. Following the end of lockdown, demand for rental properties cooled and the vacancy rate steadily rose over 2022. PropTrack economist and Flantery told news.com.au the situation is now deteriorating again in the regions with vacancy falling over the past six months, reaching 0.98% in November, below the level seen in capital cities. Senior economist um, Elner Craig said um, the release value um, Australia's rental crisis needs a significant increase in the supply of available rentals. Unfortunately, there is nothing meaningful on the horizon to suggest this will happen. With continued um, strong demand to rent, tight rental markets and upward pressure on rental prices are likely to remain in 2022. Um, Ms Craig said, the news is that the conditions are unlikely to deteriorate at the same pace as they have in 2023. Challenging rental markets condition have likely to incentivize those with the means to, be, to purchase sooner than they otherwise would have. Anyway, folks, what do you reckon about um, this um, housing crisis that the landlord has to pass on the the um, rent increase. Let your thoughts know in the comments section. Anyway, have a good day.